Here we go. Take 87. 3 to 1. Schoolgirls is the name of my book. Um, Young Women's Self-Esteem and the Confidence Gap by Peggy Orenstein. So this book deals with sexism and the different pressures that adolescent women face in 7th and 8th grade. And so what I liked about this book was that the author went and interviewed with a lot of these young women at two different schools, actually. And so she was able to get really raw and honest information from them. And so that really, to me, was so uh, interesting. Yet at the same time, it was really hard to read because these students have just been through so much trauma and hurt in their lives that it's, it was just really, honestly, heartbreaking to read these stories. Um, at the same time, it did shed some light in the way I view sexism, especially in the classroom. Never thought that it would relate so much to how students learn. And so... That's what I liked about the book. A con to this book um, would have to be that it's old. It's about 22 years old now, and so the girls were 15 when it was written. Um, so I think the data's a little outdated, um, although I do think it's still relevant, honestly. Um, I would like to see a book, though, that was a little bit more recent that talked about similar themes, because um, I think with the advancement of technology and other social issues, I think... This issue would be really interesting to look at again 22 years later. And so I really recommend it if you like this sort of book. I think it's very useful for us as teachers. Um, we really need to consider each student as kind of like a tip of the iceberg. We don't know what's going on most of the time, and so we need to be incredibly sensitive and promote equality, especially for young women who in our society kind of get uh, shortchanged a lot of the time. So definitely recommend it. Um, so. Thank you.